Elon fucking did it, boys. So, I'm not sure if you guys heard yet, but um, basically Elon Musk is asking to buy all of Twitter, which is a big, big deal. Um, <laughs> I love Elon Musk. I like everything he does, and I think um, overall as a person, um, he not only is trying his best to become um, the best version of himself that he can and reach his potential, but I mean, like, he clearly has things when it comes to um, goals and uh, envisioning things that um, he's relentless on. Um, so just that in and of itself is badass, but I mean like also politi politically I definitely do see eye to eye of them because I'm I'm personally very libertarian um, And the fact that he's actually basically Doing this more or less to like make Twitter a more like free speech area because I mean like if you guys know me um, I'm big on the fucking Constitution. It's badass. I mean, I'm just saying man Twitter's full of neckbeards and furries, but mainly neckbeards, right? Um, and fucking people with pro uh, profiles that literally all they say is their pronouns, right? It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty rough, right? Um, especially when, for example, I could go on there and say something about how, uh, my, more, my poor grandma died, but, you know, um, because she's white, we're gonna get cancelled, right? Um, it's very, it's fucked up. Um, uh, Elon's gonna buy it out. If you guys don't know, he actually had a 9% share stock that he actually bought recently. Um, but then he decided, I don't really want that. Um, and let me mind you, he bought a lot when it came to that. I believe it also fucked, uh, he, he did just enough so it won't fuck with his taxes. Um, I believe, I believe. But then, um, he just recently was like, you know what, oh, I'm gonna make a difference. And, uh, if I can find the quote, alright, alright, so I found, I found the quote, and basically he said, I made an offer, um, he, he quoted, right? And then um, he said further on, my offer is my best and final offer, and if it is not accepted, I would need to reconsider my position as shareholder. Um, and then he continues, um, Twitter has extraordinary potential, and I will unlock it. Holy shit, dude. That is badass. Holy fuck, man. I mean, and then it keeps going, and he's like, I invested in Twitter as I believe in its potential and to be a platform for free speech around the globe. And I believe free speech is a societal imperative for a functioning democracy. Um, again, that's strong as shit. That's just terrifying. And you gotta remember, like, he's offering basically to pay 50, uh, $54 per share. So, I mean, like, this is not some simple feat. But, um, then again, what, what I really appreciate is how, um, this isn't just some game to him. He truly wants something to be uh, changed and better when it comes to this uh, platform. And he sees hope in it, you know? Um, I know everyone makes jokes about it, but it's, it's real, man. He's the fucking real-life Tony Stark. I mean, when shit was going on in Ukraine and they lost power, Russia was like, we got him, boys. And fucking Musk was like, So it's pretty dope. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And for me, like, the biggest thing is, like, I, I think when it comes to anyone, um, especially, especially in a civilized society now, you should be able to deal with your issues through talking it out. Um, if you really have an issue, especially when it comes to free speech, um, you shouldn't be able to just fucking assault someone like Will Smith did. You shouldn't be able to just completely silence someone like fucking Twitter's doing. You should be able to have a discourse or if not, and then just fucking leave the situation, you know? Um, there's a way to just fucking block someone, you know? Um, but basically imposing your own narrative on everyone else, I think is very selfish and it's bringing things in the wrong direction. And I believe that's one thing that's really, um, gone the wrong way. But frankly, I'm excited about this and I'm really see to happen, uh, see what happens. Because basically Twitter has two options. Either they say, uh, yes to Elon and he's able to change all fucking Twitter and we might see some hope, some light at the end of this fucking tunnel. Or two... Um, they don't, and Elon said, like you said, he's going to reconsider, which means he's most likely going to take away his stock, and he's going to crash the fucking market again, so, <laughs> I mean, it's fucked up, but you gotta remember, dude, like, I'm also the kind of guy that was fucking laugh my ass off when people are, uh, putting into stock when it came to fucking Dogecoin and, uh, GameStop, so, I mean, like, I don't know, but that's all I gotta say, my boy Elon's doing it again, and, um, I'm excited, I really am. Especially for someone that keeps, like, fucking breaking barriers like this. I mean, I respect the motherfucker, so. Um, that's all I gotta say. As always, guys, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, if you guys want me to keep going on this later, um, I'll try and update you. But, um, smile, keep it up, and let's fight for uh, future so bright. So much for eyes. My name is Wojcicki, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys. Whoop!